Project Alternator uh, became aware of it in November of 2012 when the registry uh, uh, agency for Quebec noticed some peculiar registrations involving Alberta registered vehicles and Quebec registered vehicles. Subsequently to that, they shared that information with Service Alberta, who noticed some discrepancies in these registrations. Uh, they were able to determine that these vehicles had never been manufactured, and they, and they came to alert uh, for an enforcement component. From that, we determined that vehicles were primarily being stolen in the prov province of Quebec. They were then being re-identified with uh, vehicle identification numbers, certif uh, certification labels, uh, badging, it was a very excellent job to counterfeiting these vehicles. What they would do then is send these the documents out to uh, associates in other provinces. They would register them at local registries and then send those documents back where they'd be attached to those vehicles. Some of those vehicles made it out to Alberta. We recovered 13 of them in Alberta. Other vehicles of those vehicles we've uh, recovered in other provinces, and, but the majority of them remained in Quebec. From our investigation, we were able to determine how they were doing it, and uh, we were able to identify some people in Alberta and Quebec who were, who were perpetuating this fraud. So far, the total vehicles we've recovered were 53 out of the over the 100 we've identified, which is a recovery of well over $3 million. Uh, investigations are, at this point are ongoing. Uh, this is a very sophisticated fraud, uh, requiring thousands of documents, and right now we are in uh, having discussions with Crown in regards to charges where sufficient evidence exists to ch lay charges against individuals, they will be, uh, they will be charged.